So what the cow welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. So today I'm excited to be doing a special video sponsored by our good friends at the Thai Trade Center Vancouver. And as you can see, we are not in the kitchen because we are first going to go shopping. So many of you over the years have told me that you have difficulties getting Thai ingredients where you live. So today what I want to show you is you can still have real Thai flavors without having to go to a specialty or Asian grocery store and without really having to make a full-on authentic Thai dish. So here's the challenge. I'm gonna go shopping at a Western grocery store and we're gonna go to the international aisle and with whatever Thai ingredients I can find there, that's what I'm gonna use to cook with. Now I have some idea of what I wanna do, but I will make my final decision once I see exactly what I've got available to me. But before we go shopping, because of the time that we're in, I have found it. The aisle is called Asian Foods. Let's see what we have. This is all we got for curry paste. I got red, I got green, and I got... This is a product of Poland. This is a Thai curry paste from Poland. We're gonna go with the Thai curry paste from Thailand. Okay, I got coconut milk. We're gonna definitely take this. Adam, would you please hold these? Thank you. Water chestnuts are from Thailand. Now, fish sauce, fish sauce. They must have fish sauce. Give me fish sauce. Oh my God, is there no fish sauce? Oh, oh, I found it, I found it. Yay! Gluten-free fish sauce. Awesome. Oh, and we're gonna need snacks. We're gonna need snacks. These are so good, you guys. If you haven't had these, you must try it. Okay, what have we got for fresh herbs? Is there any lemongrass? No lemongrass. I was hoping for lemongrass. But I guess we're not gonna cook with lemongrass today. All right, I'm so excited about this. By the way, this is the first time I've ever made this, so I won't have exact recipe written out for you, but I want you to think about this not so much as a recipe, but as an inspiration of how you can take whatever Thai ingredients you can find and apply it to things you're already familiar with and get Thai flavors in that way, okay? All right, so this taco, I'm thinking I'm gonna use ground pork because pork is the most commonly eaten meat in Thailand. Flavor it with uh, Thai curry paste. And then we found water chestnuts, which I didn't expect to find. So I think I'm gonna add that in for crunch. And then on top, I'm gonna to add a little bit of a Thai slaw. So we got some cabbage and some cilantro. We'll make a little slaw with a Thai dressing to go on top. It's gonna to be great. First, let's look at the pork. See how they're always tubular when they come? If you put this directly in the pan, you might end up with tubes of pork, which does not look good. So you wanna go in and like mash them out first. So they end up looking a little bit more natural. And by the way, you can totally do this with beef. I don't see any reason why not, or chicken, but if you're gonna do chicken, I would recommend doing dark meat. Okay, I think that's good enough. I'm gonna start this the same way I start with any curry, is to use coconut milk and the fat, the oil in coconut milk to be the oil that we use to saute the paste. This way, if you add vegetable oil, it's fine but you're not gonna get the flavor and the richness if you reduce coconut milk, right? So that's why we do this. Add a little bit more. And I know most of the products that we have now is Thai Kitchen brand. It is not sponsored by Thai Kitchen. It's just the only brand that we have downstairs. Um, but Thai Kitchen is a brand that's made in Thailand. So that's important. So that's come to a boil. I'm gonna add my red curry paste and you can totally do this with any other kind of curry paste. And um, the thing with Thai kitchen that I actually like is when people say, oh, they don't eat very spicy. This is not a very spicy brand. I guess that's the benefit of getting like a, you know, a brand that's meant for a Western market is they will make it less spicy. Okay, so now it's well mixed in. I'm gonna let it reduce until it's sizzling in that coconut oil. 
So FYI, I used about half of this jar, which is 112 grams. You know, I don't know if it's too much or too little. Again, this is the first time I've made this particular recipe, but we can find out and we can add more later. Cooking without a predetermined recipe. This is great. This is such a refreshing thing because I always come here and I got everything sorted out. Okay, see that? See a little bit of coconut oil starting to separate. That's great. That means the paste is now frying. Okay, I gotta go in with the pork. before I get curry paste all over myself. Get that mixed in. Oh, that just looks like a great start to so many things. <laughs> now, if I were able to get some uh, fresh lemongrass, fresh kefir lime leaves, I would probably throw that in right about now to get it infused and flavoring everything. But I don't, which is okay because there is all those ingredients are in the paste already, but it's nice sometimes to get a little bit of extra and also some visual. Ooh, this would make a great burrito filling as well. How very English of Adam to suggest this would make a great shepherd's pie base. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there because it's all cooked because I just wanna taste it first. Like I'm not done done, but again, when you're working with something for the first time and you're kind of like freestyling it, you wanna know where you're at before you start putting in seasoning, right? Because um, curry paste are always pre-salted to some degree. I think I'm gonna use that whole jar. Oh, definitely needs salt, but it needs, it also, it's also a little mild. Now it's not ideal that that paste didn't get fried, but what are you gonna do? I mean, you could fry it separately, but we're not doing that right now. And um, some seasoning. I'm going to do some fish sauce. And if you want to know about how to identify good fish sauce, I do have a video for that as well. Okay, so I'm going to turn the heat back on and see where we're at now. And yes, I've used the entire jar. <laughs> if you're using like a Maploy or a Messi, like one of the brands with Thai names, you will not need this much because those tastes are a lot more concentrated, I find. Oh, it's starting to look good too. Okay, I'm gonna let that fry just to let the paste cook a little bit. Okay, let's see where we're at now. Mmm, now we're talking. But it needs a little bit of sweet to get that balance of flavor and almost forgot our water chestnuts, which by the way, they come whole like this and I just cut them into little, little dice just to get a little bit of crunch. Water chestnuts, it's a great thing to use um, because they don't have too much of a flavor in and of themselves, but they add a lovely, lovely crunch to just about anything. Add that in and turn the heat back on. All right, I'm gonna turn this off. Do one final taste. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, toss this with pasta and you're done. You can stop right here. So for this part, I am thinking, you know, normally a taco, you might put sour cream on it or in a more hipster taco establishment, they would put a crema, which is like a loose, I guess like a, a creme fraiche type thing, like a creamy dairy thing that's a little bit tart to go on top of the taco. So I want to do something like that, but with coconut milk instead, which is the Thai dairy. I always tell people we don't use dairy in Thai cuisine. We only use coconut milk whenever you want that creaminess. We're going to use this tiny little frying pan, which I've been waiting for the opportunity to use for a very long time. And I need to thicken it a little bit. So I'm gonna add, I make a cornstarch slurry. So this is just some cornstarch. And I'm gonna add some water just to dissolve it. Adding dry cornstarch to hot liquid is something you will do once in your life and then you'll be so traumatized by the lumps that you cannot get out, you will never do it again. So let's just start with just a little splash. And uh, we'll see where that gets us. And once you add the cornstarch, oh, that was quick. Well, that thickened on me really quickly. This darn stove. 
And you want to bring it to a boil because that's how you know that the cornstarch has reached its maximum thickening power. Do I want it a little bit thicker? No, I think this is good. Because it'll thicken a little bit as it cools as well. Okay, so I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to season it with a little bit of salt. And also to get that tart crema flavor, I'm going to add just a touch of lime juice. Let's see. Mmm! Yes! Wow, that lime really brightened it up. A, little, a touch more lime. And I think we are good. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, now the slaw, which is going to add freshness and crunch and some spiciness to... Not that we don't have enough spiciness, but hey! What's a little extra spice? So I'm going to make basically a yum dressing, which is a traditional classic Thai salad dressing, and we can yum anything. And I have so many yums on the website. So if you just go on the website and search for yum, you will end up with a ton of salad. Okay, so now we're going to make yum kalampli. Kalampli is cabbage, which is a great thing to go on top of taco. And then I'm going to start with some Thai chilies, which you don't have to add, or you can add any spicy chilies. And I'm going to pound that, but you can also just finely mince it as well. And you're gonna see that there's a lot of chili skins left, but that's not a problem. A little bit of sugar first. I was hoping to find palm sugar. I did not find palm sugar, but come to think of it, maybe I should have looked in the sugar aisle. But see, this is the <laughs> this is the hard part about shopping for Asian ingredients, is you don't know if it's in the international aisle or it's in the like the aisle of the food category that it belongs to. So maybe. I should have looked in the sugar aisle. And then the sugar helps the chilies break up a little bit more as well. Okay, and now just some lime juice and of course fish sauce. Rule of thumb for salad dressing, roughly one part lime juice, one part fish sauce, and then you kind of taste and adjust depending on the recipe that you're doing. Let's see where we're at. Ooh! Perfect! Oh, nice. And then when you pound chilies, you get a much prettier dressing too. Okay, and then I'm going to also add some shallots into here. You can do red onions, thinly, thinly uh, sliced. And then what I'm going to do also is I... This just occurred to me that I was going to add tomatoes to the, to the taco somehow. But I think I'm going to add it directly to this yum dressing so that the tomato juices actually become a part of this dressing. And that idea to me just came from some tam or Thai green papaya salad where we pound the tomatoes in with the dressing to like bruise it a little bit to get that juice mixed up. So I think that's a good idea. Mmm, that looks good. So I'm using purple cabbage just because it's pretty. You can use green cabbage or a mixture of cabbage and carrots or whatever sort of crunchy vegetable radishes would be really good in this too. Give that a nice mix. Oh, I also got green onions. I also have some cilantro, which I, I guess I'll add half now and then leave the other half to garnish. Oh, that looks so good already. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, spicy. Oh, spicy. All right, so time to assemble. I'm so excited about this. This is looking so good. Um, so the store did not have any all corn tortilla. And they didn't have any Mexican food aisle because we're in Canada. Uh, they only had the Asian food aisle. So the only tortilla that they had was 50% corn and 50% wheat. So I'm going to heat that up. And this is quite big. I'm used to corn tortillas that are smaller. Okay, so I just want a little bit of brown spot because I think when it's slightly brown, it has a better flavor. But you can just heat this up until it's hot. Yay, there we go. Oop. Go in with our filling. Or just have this over rice. My goodness, how did I forget that? This would be just good over rice. Our slaw. Oh, get some tomatoes in there. Yes. Oh my god, that looks so good. And I was um, thinking about Penang curry, which in Thailand we often drizzle a little bit of thickened coconut milk on top. So I thought about that and I was like, oh yeah, that would be like a crema. And... <gasps> 
a little bit of garnished cilantro just because why not? Yay! I'm so excited to eat! Mmm! Mmm! Oh my god, so good! I'm shocked how good this is. I think I want to add a little more slaw. Maybe I just didn't get much slaw in that bite, but I just love crunchy, crunchy bits. Mmm! That is amazing. That surprised me! I mean, I fully expected it to be good, but how good it is, is like completely shocking to me. That slaw works so well. Somebody call Chipotle. Tell them they need to put this on the menu. You can really taste the red curry paste. It is unmistakably Thai. And if you did this with green curry paste, I think it would be just as fantastic. And it's rich with that coconut milk that we added. And the slaw just gives it the perfect balancing point. Crisp, light, fresh. There's no oil, no anything in the dressing. And it just works together so well. Um, the crema adds just a little bit of that creaminess but it still has a spirit of the taco because of the flavor of the tortilla. I mean, like this is basically Thai food right here, right? Like we, we made Thai food right here, but we assembled it using only one non-Thai ingredient that is the tortilla and you've turned it into something completely fantastic and wonderful. Yay! So I really, really hope you give this a try. This will knock your socks off. Trust me on this. I will do my best to write down the recipe with the most accurate estimated ingredient amounts and that will then be on hatthaikitchen.com i'll link to that below and if you haven't subscribed to the show make sure you do so you don't miss a recipe and click the bell icon as well so you get a notification when i post a new video thank you as always for watching and i will see you next time for your next delicious thai meal